I'm Gary Cortez with Boating Magazine. On this edition of What to Look For, I'm going to show you what to look for in a water sports boat. First things first on a water sports boat, you're probably going to want to start with a V-Drive. The reason being, it moves the engine to the back of the boat, which displaces more water at the back, helping you create the wakes and waves that you're going to be riding on your water sports boat. On this Malibu 23 MXZ, we've got the new Monsoon M6DI, and they're going to talk more about torque than horsepower, which is also different for water sports. And that's because you're going to want that torque to get your loaded boat out of the water quickly on plane and get your riders riding. One important thing to look for when you're shopping for a water sports boat is a really good ballast system. A lot of today's wake boats will have subfloor ballast, which is really convenient. It fills up below the deck of the boat and keeps the ballast away from storage and the comfort of your passengers. You push a couple buttons on your dash and the riders behind the boat are having a ton of fun on the wakes and waves. Another key element to keep in mind when you're comparing water sports boats are the onboard wake enhancement capabilities. Every company is going to have their own version of the technology. Basically what you're looking for is a tab system on the back of the boat that allows you to enhance the wakeboard wake or create a wake surf wave. On this Malibu, you're going to have Surfgate, their patented technology. They're basically wings that deploy on either side, allowing you to surf back and forth with ease. Underneath, you've got the power wedge. That's a foil system that deploys down, drags the back of the boat down, and allows you to shape the wake to your desire. A lot of today's water sports boats feature touchscreen displays to access all the menus and functions of the boat. It can be a little intimidating at first, so my advice to you is to go to the stores of the boats that you're shopping, ask the dealers questions, go through the menus, use them yourself, see what works for you, see what's comfortable, and get used to it, because these are what you're going to be touching every time you're out on the water. What's really nice about a lot of today's water sports boats is that these digital setups will have preset settings. So if you've got a beginner wake surfer, you can go into your menu and tap that setting, and the ballast will fill accordingly, the plates will set accordingly, and you'll have a nice wave for that beginner wake surfer. Vice versa for an advanced wakeboarder. You go into your menu, you tap that, the ballast will fill up a little bit more, your plates might adjust, and you'll have a great wake for riding the wakeboard and catching some big air. Every water sports boat today is gonna to come with a tower of some sorts, but they can vary widely. So you're really gonna to wanna to look for some features that are gonna help you and your experience on the water. You're gonna want a tower that folds, whether that's automatic with a power tower, or manually. It makes it easier to stow, get under low clearance bridges, etc. You also want to consider the height of the tower and the bimini. Are you able to stand under it like I am under this Malibu tower? Or are you going to need to crouch lower? Of course, you also have to have board racks to hold all your boards. But are your board racks big enough to hold those bigger wake surf boards? So keep that in mind as you look for a tower. And then, don't forget about your speakers. A good tower will always have some speakers to blast the tunes out to your riders so you can have more fun out on the water. There's a lot of fun you can have on your water sports boat. To learn more about what to look for when you're shopping, go to BoatingMag.com. Until next time, I'm Garrett Cortez. This is What to Look For.